Hey guys, it's Brooke Hoover. I'm a guitar teacher. Um, I've been having fun playing these major scales. Uh, let's do E major. Check it out. <laughs> I'm glad I did it right. So, uh, you know, you're, if we're talking about playing all these songs and doing all these things, if you can't make that scale sound halfway good, uh, we should probably come back to it, you know. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, check out the notes of that scale. It's E, F sharp. Use your middle finger, if you, I recommend. Pinky and G sharp. So those first three notes are 0, 2, 4 for frets. And that's root, second, third for intervals. A little bit of theory in there root second third so if that feels really weird on your hand you probably need to spend some time working on fingering four fingers four frets it shouldn't sh cause shooting pain up your arm it should be pretty relaxed that's the goal so i hope that doesn't hurt all right i do and now the a is your fifth string open which is your fourth interval Kind of sounds like a Johnny Cash song, like one, two, three, da da da. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just making the point that you can't play simple stuff like that unless you kind of know the scale. Otherwise, you're just learning random shapes and you're not gonna understand why it works. If So, I just wanna make sure everybody's got that. Okay, so again, it's root, second, third, fourth, fifth. That's a B, and use your middle finger. Second fret, fifth string, and walk it down. Now again, if your hand is really in pain here, just stop, relax, stretch, you can just turn the video off and just work on that much you know you don't have to but if you want to keep going yeah you just have to work through the physical requirements you'll get there and then that's the sixth interval a C sharp fourth fret fifth string pinky that sounds pretty cool I'm gonna skip the fourth and the fifth. Man, that sounds pretty good. The six is like your C sharp minor chord from an E. That's a six, a root to a six. Pretty common. One to six. Then you can do like two. Four, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. See how it works? You gotta know your scale and everything will make sense. Seven, seven's got a lot of tension in it. Seven brings a lot of baggage to the table because seven wants to go home to the root. Eight. See if you can stay on the seventh. That's the D sharp, fourth string, first fret. You could make a chord out of that note. An E major seven. Just take an E major and add that D sharp major seventh chord. A root, third, fifth, and a seventh degree of the scale. See, these are intervals or degrees of the scale. One, two, three. The, the root is your first interval. F sharp is your second interval. G sharp is your third interval. A is your fourth interval, four. B is your five, five. C sharp is your six. D sharp is your seven. And then E octave is eight. The octave is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's ascending, and then you want to descend. 
try a chord. Of course, you can stretch it into the next octave. So you can work out the next octave. And then you can start, so that's featuring open strings. We got our first, second, fifth, and sixth strings open in that key on a standard tuned guitar. You don't want your D and G strings open because those will be out of key. It'd be A G would be a flatted third, and a, a D would be a uh, flatted seventh. We don't want those right now, just to keep it pure. Um, but you can start working your way up the neck also. <laughs> it could happen. So if you if you make a funny note, uh, if you hit a wrong note, be sure to make a funny face. <laughs> I'm just kind of going random here. So I kind of got myself checkmated there, I had to use one finger, but the way I went up was pretty strategic. Using the four fingers and shifting. Ah! Shift my position. Shift. 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 And we can shift. It's pretty fun. All right. If you need more information on that, or if you need a PDF, let me know. But otherwise, I think you can figure out the sound. All you got to do is find your E, F sharp, G sharps, your A's, B's, C sharps, and D sharps all the way up the neck. Just spread out your fingers, find them and use your ears, you use a tuner, use any sort of tool you can think of, I don't care. Read tablature. Let me know if you need anything. But if you can do that, I think you could maybe get through a song. So get your scales down. That's my thinking. It might be opposite of what other people think, but uh, it's just one way of success. You don't have to do this, but I think it would help everything. That's all I'm trying to say, really. <laughs> okay. See you later.